While in the Caribbean, you will experience all the things that I've made videos about in the past. It recently dawned on me that I've never given the proper respect to a subject about an island that will make or break the entire experience. Today we're going to reveal which are the friendliest Caribbean islands and what makes them so friendly. Because there's nothing more welcoming than a smile, human decency, and mutual respect when you're so far away from home. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. I'm Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision when you're picking your next vacation. Now, if this is a topic you like, make sure you subscribe and press the notification bell so you can be first in the know when I upload new content. I've always talked about how the Caribbean is known for its breathtaking beaches, wonderful weather, and hospitable people. Yet, I've never done a countdown on which was the friendliest Caribbean island. I finally decided to highlight some of the most friendly Caribbean islands that will make you feel like you're part of the family. From Aruba to St. Kitts, these islands have something unique to offer in terms of hospitality and charm. Whether it's a casual chat with the locals or invitation to dinner, you'll never be disappointed. Now number 10 is Jamaica. Jamaica is well known for everything except for friendly people. I want to change that impression because almost everyone I've run into during my many trips to Jamaica has been very friendly to me. I have heard horror stories though from others which is why they are all the way at number 10 on this list. I'm not sure if it's the weed they smoke or the everything is Irene model that they live by, but Jamaicans are known for their friendly personalities. They often greet visitors with a warm smile and a few funny jokes. While in Rio Montego Bay, and you can check out that whole video in the link that I'm putting above. My friends and I met some of the most beautiful spirited women I've ever met. Many Jamaicans and I have had long conversations where the only topic we discussed was how to chill. Jamaica is one of the friendliest islands that I've been to and I've been to a lot. Alright, so now number 9 is Barbuda. The small Caribbean island of Barbuda is home to a warm friendly population. Every day the locals offer their hospitality and kindness to thousands of tourists who flock to this island each year. People who visit Barbuda are struck by how welcoming everyone is. From the moment we arrive, we receive a smile and a greeting no matter where we go. The royal families that I've booked tickets to Barbuda for often comment on how genuine and open the people of Barbuda are. It's as if you've known them forever. Barbuda isn't known for its nightlife or luxury resorts, rather it's known for its wonderful people. Here visitors can find warmth in conversation with locals over coffee or dinner. Stories of the chill out life in Barbuda cannot be found anywhere else. Number 8 is Barbados. Barbados is a small beautiful island located in the Caribbean Sea and its people are just as incredible. Also the people of Barbados is known for their friendliness and kindness. You may get the wrong impression from them if you first meet them in the midst of their carnival. Normally they always have a smile on their face and they make sure everyone is welcome with open arms. The culture in Barbados is based on respect, where even strangers feel comfortable talking to one another without any fear. This allows locals to form strong relationships and support each other throughout life's difficult moments. Now the people of Barbados take their carnival very seriously, it's called crop over. So even their most important day of the year was created around togetherness and community. Now number 7 is St. Kitts and Nevis. None on any of these islands are obligated to make sure tourists are being treated well. That never seems to stop the locals from concerning themselves with making sure that you're having a good time. Residents of St. Kitts and Nevis also take pride in helping those who are less fortunate than them. They are quick to provide food and clothing to their neighbors who need it most. The friendly attitude of the people in St. Kitts and Nevis has been passed down from generation to generation. This further strengthened their friendly demeanor over time and tourists get to enjoy that every time we come to visit. Number 6 is Montserrat. What truly makes people from Montserrat so friendly is difficult to pinpoint an exact answer because studies have shown that the culture of Montserrat plays a strong role in why Montserratians are so kind. The British Overseas Act made all residents of Montserrat citizens of Britain in 2002. I figured they had no outside influence to depend on for so long financially so they found comfort in each other. Montserrat's community living conditions are close-knit and inviting and tourists like us are a breath of fresh air when we're also pleasant. Now number 5 is Dominica. If you're looking for a place where people will go above and beyond to be kind and friendly, Dominica is the perfect destination. 
While Dominica is not a very well-known island among travelers, it is well-known as one of the friendliest Caribbean islands. The people of this Caribbean island are well-known for their hospitality and their willingness to help visitors. The locals are always willing to share stories of their culture, answer questions about the local area, and make sure that you feel right at home. From offering directions, recommending places to eat, or just having a chat, the people in Dominica will do whatever they can to make your experience enjoyable. Dominicans have an overwhelming sense of pride in their country, and it's no surprise that it has earned its reputation as one of the friendliest Caribbean islands. Now number four is Grenada. Now for starters, many communities in Grenada have been based on traditional values and promote community togetherness. This encourages people to foster relationships with one another and take care of each other through the acts of kindness. Additionally, many Grenadians believe in treating others as they like to be treated themselves. You can expect positive vibes when you're interacting with the locals. Now make sure you go to www.passwordkings.com so you can find the cheapest flight on any of the hotels in Grenada. And you can also compare over 4 million prices in one place for your flight. Now number 3 is St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines are exceptionally nice, friendly, and kind. It's no surprise that visitors to this country often remark on how welcoming and generous the locals are. I've had so many people tell me that the people in St. Vincent and Grenadines should dance to the finish line to win the friendliest Caribbean Islands contest. They're so quick to offer help when you're trying to navigate some unfamiliar tourist spots. They regularly go above and beyond when assisting with everyday tasks. It's easy to see why these people have the reputation of being some of the nicest individuals in the Caribbean. Now number two is Aruba. No matter where you go in Aruba, you can expect a warm greeting from anyone you meet. Aruba solidified its place as number one of the friendliest Caribbean islands a few years ago. The shop owners, taxi drivers, and even complete strangers in the street will greet you with open arms. And so many people on TripAdvisor agrees with Aruba's nickname. This friendliness radiates throughout the communities, creating an atmosphere of compassion and understanding amongst all of its citizens. If you're ever stuck or need any help at all during your stay here, rest assured that they'll always be there for you and with a smile on their faces. The resort and hotel staffs are incredible and you'll never feel like you're bothering them. Aruba would have hands down won the contest for the most friendliest Caribbean islands if it wasn't for our number one spot. And our number one spot is Guadeloupe. Guadeloupe wins the top friendliest Caribbean islands. Guadeloupe is a Caribbean paradise that truly lives up to its reputation for being home of some of the most friendly people in the world. This beautiful island has been voted as one of the top places to visit due to its warm, welcome, and kind locals. Some of the friendliest Caribbean islands are so small that they're never mentioned in countdowns like this. And they're hardly ever compared to the bigger islands that more people travel to in the Caribbean. The people of Guadeloupe are incredibly open and welcoming, making it an ideal destination for adventurers looking for a place with a relaxed atmosphere and plenty of opportunities for fun. Whether you're strolling along the shorelines or dancing in one of their vibrant nightclubs, you'll find yourself surrounded by friends eager to show you why they love their island so much. Visitors come away from Guadeloupe feeling like they've made lifelong connections with its residents. Thanks in part to the genuine care and hospitality that they're shown by everyone they meet in Guadeloupe. Of course, everyone will have different experiences simply because we all run into different people. Even if it's the same people, I may catch them on a day when they're feeling great and you may meet them on a day when they're in a bad mood. In conclusion, most of the islands in the Caribbean are fantastic places to visit. From the hospitable locals to the stunning scenery, these exotic paradises have something for everyone. Not only will you feel welcome and at home on these islands, but you'll also get a chance to experience some amazing culture and cuisine as well. So why not use www.passwordkings.com to book your trip to one of these wonderful locations. You won't regret it and you'll be treated like a king of passwords.